why do you think the Lions of the Pride Lands hate the hyenas? Well, here's what I think. In the Pride Lands, there is a history of hyena clans being greedy, selfish, and disrespectful towards the circle of life. For generations, hyenas have desired to go where they wanted and eat as they pleased, and they were often willing to do whatever it took to make those desires a reality. Many great kings had to handle the threat hyenas posed to the stability of the kingdom, and inevitably one king decided that the most effective solution would be to banish all hyenas from the Pride Lands, and that would continue into Mufasa's reign as king. You see, Mufasa and the rest of his pride never saw hyenas as similar to them. Some hyenas like Jasiri knew her whole life that lions and hyenas were the same, but many great kings refused to see that, which led to the Pride Lands becoming a place where most animals were distrustful and frightened of any hyena they came across. There was a shared understanding that every hyena was a threat. A hyena? Panic and run! No! Panic and Do not panic and run! While hyenas were viewed as barbaric for hunting and scavenging, animals across the Pride Lands adored their king even when they were prey for the lions. And unfortunately, Mufasa never worked to redefine how his kingdom viewed hyenas because he was so focused on fighting them off. And that only allowed unjustified fear to grow. Do lions really do think old hyenas are bad? All the ones I've met are. Well, Mufasa stated that old creatures existed in a delicate balance. He failed to remind his subjects that hyenas were a part of the circle of life just like any other species. But most hyenas respect the circle of life. We're the cleanup crews. We hyenas eat what you lions leave behind. And by continuing to separate lions and hyenas, Mufasa unknowingly allowed a silent, more sinister belief to flourish within his kingdom. You see, the citizens of the Pride Lands weren't just scared of hyenas, they grew to hate them. Even Zazu, one of the king's closest advisors, thought that the hyenas were beneath them. But Zazu, you told me they're nothing but slobbering, mangy, stupid poachers. But it wasn't just a belief that hyenas were bad. Lions were historically the only animals who were viewed as being truly capable and deserving of respect. Of course, Scar and his followers like the Lion of Zira believed that their species was destined to rule. And throughout the Pride Lands history, there were traditions that emphasized this belief that lions were the grandest animals. And some of them even lived on during Simba's reign as king. The Lion Guard, for example, was a team that had been assembled for generations to defend the Pride Lands. That group had always been made up of five lions until Simba's son Kion recruited a cheetah, a hippo, an egret, and a honey badger to fight by his side. Simba, though, didn't have faith at first that other animals were capable of keeping the kingdom safe. The lion guard has always been made of lions. Do you really think a lion guard with only one lion can protect the Pride Lands? Simba eventually did support Kion's lion guard, but his apprehension shows us that there was a flawed understanding of the circle of life being passed down from generation to generation. And there was clearly an unspoken belief in lion superiority. And I think that contributed to the deep animosity between lions and hyenas that was able to be exploited by Scar. You see, compared to Mufasa's aggressive enforcement of his laws, Scar appeared to be an ally to the hyenas. Since Scar brought them food, involved them in his plots, and offered them a place in the Pride Lands, the hyenas were convinced that he was on their side. Or, I mean, you're one of us. I mean, you're our pal. But while Scar and his lions appreciated how vicious and powerful the hyenas could be, they never truly respected them. Scar was willing to have hyenas serve beneath him, but he never saw them as his equal. They were viewed as pawns. The hyenas were only a tool that Scar could utilize to help him become king. And the truth is that if any lion saw the hyenas as anything more than that, they were viewed as an enemy of the pride. Whose side are you on? Lions or hyenas? But hyenas weren't hated forever in the Pride Lands. When Kion and Jasiri became friends, their connection allowed them to see past generations of hatred, cruelty, and mistakes, and together, slowly over time, they were able to finally bring about peace between lion and hyena. I'm Isaac Carlson. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.